What is up guys? Hanging out one of my favorite spots on campus by the Alumni Center. I got a couple friends with me. Say what up? You know, a couple ducks. Gonna push an update as to what's going on. We are just coming off of six uh, consecutive full duration hot fire tests. Um, and by full duration I mean we shoot to make fire for three seconds or five seconds or eight seconds and um, we sustain the flame for that full duration. So in the past we've actually had some valves flip and um, you know, we still were able to get fire, but if we were trying to go for a three second test, we'd only maybe uh, been burning for, you know, the last second or so. so. We hashed out a lot of those EMI issues that we were talking about before, and, and so as Ruben was saying, we installed that high performance spark plug that has that resistor built in to reduce a lot of that EMI noise that's getting picked up by, by a lot of those valves. So uh, we are real excited about that. In two of the tests, what you'll see is uh, something called, we're calling oxygen starvation. Um, and so for the first, uh, test the three second test and then separately the five second test we're right on that cusp of the minimum um, O to F ratio which is the oxygen to fuel ratio um, required to actually get combustion and so since we're running so fuel rich that means we have a lot of fuel and not a lot of air so you see the the flame gets a, the plume which is the blue flame coming out of the the back end of the nozzle um, it thins out a little bit and that's kind of due to that that, that oxygen starvation there um, but the last test the the eight second test that we had um, you'll notice it looks solid and uh, we're real excited about that, kind of pushing the limits of that engine. And we're actually transitioning to our next phase of liquid biprop testing. For the past few months, students have been working to machine our own engines and build them in-house. So we've been testing the NASA engine. We kind of took that design and, and tried to figure out how we could make it cheaply, quickly and, and see if it works. So um, we don't know how that's going to turn out yet, but uh, we're actually going out to the site today, tomorrow, and actually next week as well to get this engine hooked up, um, see if we can't make fire. Exciting stuff coming up, so stay tuned. All right, so Ruben and I are here today. The new high-performance spark plug installed. We modified the, uh, the electrode on there, so we've got that hooked up to our system. Ruben, what are we gonna do today? Hopefully we're going to, um, at the end of the day, uh, get a flame going 